to Monica and Alice. Long may they brighten the hallways of Pentonville Correctional Facility for women. And to AJ, who will keep them company right across the yard. Oof, not as good as Alice's, but we all have to make sacrifices. Hi. It is customary to use the front door. We did. No one answered. Oh, well, it's the maid's day off, as I'm sure you'll notice. Why are you here? Oh, uh, we, we were hoping, uh, that is, we... Do I know you? No. And why are you bringing strangers to my home? I'm Sabrina Santiago, and I am so pleased to meet you, Miss Do you Cordova? know how to make a martini? Me? I'm assuming you do know how to answer a door. Yes, but that's, that's not why... You I'm... know, the job requires a certain amount of finesse, and if you are not capable of making a martini without bruising the gym... Oh! No, I'm not looking for a job. I'm a student nurse, and Elizabeth is Actually, on staff. we're here to see Edward. Not possible. He's resting. If you can't talk to me, you can let yourselves out. <sighs> oh, okay. Well, um, the thing is, uh, Elizabeth and I are here, as I mentioned, uh, to make you an offer you can't refuse. Try me. It's for a very worthy cause. The GH Nurses Ball. I've never attended. Well... Were you aware that the Nurses' Ball raised funds for AIDS research and other HIV and AIDS-related charities? Yes, I was aware of that. Oh, cool. Well, actually, several members of your family have participated over the years, including Mr. Quartermain Sr., that is, your father. He was in at least two numbers that I know uh, of. Yes, well, that was decades ago, and mercifully, most people have forgotten. Oh, well, we want to remind them. Of my father making an ass of himself on stage? Of the Nurses' Ball. Uh, Elizabeth and I were just wondering, since it's such an important cause and your family has been so generous oh, over the years... we just cut to the chase? How much do you want? You know... Okay, I'll buy a table. How much? Uh, it would be great for you and, and your friends to be at the ball, but we're not selling tickets. The truth is, the hospital hasn't budgeted anything for the ball since 2001, so we are starting from scratch, and we are looking for a company or a family to underwrite the event. Mm -hmm. That's why you wanted to speak to my father, see if you could wheedle him into underwriting the new and improved nurse's ball. I thought Edward might be offended if we didn't come to him first. I know that your family has been a big part of the nurse's ball from the beginning. Edward, Alan, Monica, Ned, AJ, I mean, even Jason participated. Half those people are dead. <sighs> As you know, HIV and AIDS-related charities were a huge cause for Robin. And I know that Edward was very fond of her and very generous with Emma, especially during the whole pathogen crisis when he gave her his medicine. I, I just thought Edward would want to be a part of this. So what do you say, Ms. Quartermain? Will you help us? Look, AIDS research is a very worthy cause, one that ELQ has long championed. And you're right, my father was very fond of Robin, and he would like to be involved, depending on the particulars. So you'll do it? You'll underwrite the ball? Would my sister-in-law, Monica, be involved? And not oh, of course she'll be involved. Dr. Quartermain is chief of staff. And she was with stuff at the hospital. Oh, I'm sure she could find the time. We can't have a ball without Dr. Quartermain. She will play a major role. I mean, huge. Center stage. Okay, let's let Tracy Yeah, I haven't had a chance Sabrina. to speak to Dr. Quartermain yet, but yes, you and your sister-in-law would definitely be working very closely together. Okay, well, then, in that case, the answer is no. What? Goodbye. Show yourselves out. What? What did I say? Hey, Dr. Westborn. Hi. Hi. Dr. Drake. <laughs> hey. Hi. Hi. What's uh, What's going on? What is this? Nurses night out? Um. No. Actually, we're here to draw on our sorrows. Yeah, we had an epic fail at our first attempt to raise funds for the nurse's ball. Oh, no. Aw, sorry. Well, maybe we should put our heads together and find some donations. We'll probably just have to get a little crazy. Tomorrow, we can all pitch in. It was kind of our fault. We started with the quarter mains. Which one? Tracy. Good luck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unfortunately, Patrick and I are just on the way out. Wait, but we wait, will... who's... 
Who's watching Emma? She's having a sleepover. Yeah, uh, Mac and Felicia wanted a little bit of time. So. Oh, we have the whole night free. Oh, it's nice to have that time out. However, I do feel a little guilty for being here because my grandmother thinks we're fundraising. Which, by the way, she's totally in favor of bringing back the nurse's ball. Oh, great. Well, she's not going to be the only one. I haven't told Emmy yet, but if it happens and she does find out, she's going to be thrilled. So we'll get together tomorrow, try and put together a list. Great, yeah? thanks. Perfect, and I think this is a great idea. Thank you so much for helping. Anything I can do, okay? Okay. Okay. Um, anyways, well, you guys have, have a good evening. Yeah, you too. Oh, well, we will. Okay. Bye. So, you ready for that drink? Please, supersize me. Why? You sure you want that? I'm officially drowning my sorrows. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. So what our first potential donor turned to stand? I should have known. It's the quarter mains. They all hate each other. You never know what feud you'd be walking into. I am not upset about the quarter mains. To hell with the quarter mains. Relationships. Wow. This is really. This is really good. You know, I think there's rum in it. I think there's a lot more than rum. Really? Okay, if it's not the quarter man that's bothering you, what is going on? <laughs> Emma's having a sleepover. We have the whole night to ourselves. Oh, God, she dropped the key card to the Metro Court at my feet. They're doing it. Patrick and Dr. Westbourne are having sex. Well, yeah, probably. <sighs> oh, God. You have a thing for Patrick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. No, of course, of course not. Serena, do you have a thing for Patrick? Yes. Patrick's a wonderful guy. He's a terrific surgeon. He's really adorable. <laughs> I get what It's just a crutch. Him, but... A crush. Please don't tell anyone. Oh, oh God. I, I should have never said anything. I don't usually drink. Not, not that it's the drink that's making me tell you. Really making me like Patrick. It's the drink that's making me tell you. Oh, and I promised myself I'd keep it a secret. Okay, I'm not gonna tell anyone. I, I Look, promise you that. It's, it's ridiculous, right? Like, it's ridiculous that I could ever think that he would, would ever, would ever like me back, right? But just look at Westport. She is like, she, she takes her shirt off in front of him in the locker room and just stands there, like, in her bra, like, it's nothing. I, I could never do anything like that. And I'm just standing there all vomity, and she's standing there all gorgeous. And now they're going to bed together. Be bad. Thanks, Lulu. Thanks, Lulu. Lulu. Thanks. So, I think Dante's right. Spinelli can't know how you feel unless you tell him. What about Ellie? What about her? They're not married yet. So, why don't you tell Spinelli how you feel before he gets more involved with her? All right, you've convinced me. No time like the present. I'm gonna call him right now. Look. The truth is, I just want Patrick to be happy, you know? And if he could find someone real to connect to, you know, even if it's not me, even if it's not me, I'm, I'd be fine with that. I'd be okay with that. But look, I don't, I just don't think that Dr. Westbourne really cares for Patrick, you know, as a person, you know? And she just sees him as like, just a handsome doctor. She doesn't even look twice at Emma. Things could change over time. <laughs> Mostly, he's just not ready. You can see it in his eyes. <laughs> not that that'll stop Dr. Westbourne. <laughs>